Hey, what's up everybody? It's Timos Knights and welcome back to Chaos Craft. So today, we're working on the house, basically just trying to kind of like make it look a little bit better from the inside and maybe do some work on the exterior, uh, mainly just like trying to work our way up the mountain instead of jumping all the time because it wastes a lot of our hunger. So, mainly I think what we should do is change the floor from cobblestone and stone to maybe like spruce wood because I feel like spruce wood would be a good color to mat match with. Uh, maybe the snow walls here. So I did do some mining, which I gotta find my wood. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, bump. Oh, I don't want to put those in there. Nope. <clears throat> and so Weeby Stranger and I last part did a lot of mining, and we actually collected a lot of resources, which were desperately needed because I had zero resources when we started. And now I have a lot more resources, which is definitely better thing because I can actually have protection now <laughs> protection <laughs> what are you laughing at my girlfriend's in the back laughing at me that's very rude <laughs> what's wrong baby Do you, boo-boo. Do you, boo-boo. Do you. If you guys don't know what that's from, that's from... Babe, what was it called? Kevin Hart, Insanely Funny or something like that? Uh, I forgot which one it was. Hmm. That's gonna bug me now. Which one was it? We'll Could... look it up later. Okay. So I think my girlfriend's laughing at me because I'm... The first time I've actually ever recorded in front of her. And yet she's laughing at me. Eh, whatever. I'm used to getting laughed at, so it doesn't really bother me too much. Cause she's very mean to me. I'm not. Okay, she's not, but I can say that she is, because it's fun. So mainly, we're trying to kind of like modernize this little hill house because it looks exactly like a hill house at the moment, which I don't necessarily like. Being very oh, almost fell. Being very picky. So. Like we're like I just said, we're gonna try to modernize it and make it look like a kind of like a loft that you'd see in like New York City or something like that. Be a very expensive one if you wanted it in New York City, but it'd be the same kind of feel. Boom. Hey, babe, do you know how much like the minimum wage is in New York City, by any I have chance? No idea. Could you imagine how ex how good it had to be because of how expensive everything is? Loft, and it's more than what you're paying right now. Ooh. So it's really expensive out there. Yeah, I know. I was watching Rooster Teeth, and Bernie's girlfriend said they were living in an apartment, uh, kind of like a beachside house, kind of. Mm -hmm. And there's four of them, maybe four or five, and they each had to pay a thousand dollars a month. It's insane on the East Coast. Granted, you get a lot more luxury and stuff when you're on the yeah, East but Coast. You have to pay for it. Well, yeah, that's the only problem. That anything you want, you're gonna have to pay for it. You're paying for all the stuff you're getting. You think that's why real estate in Texas is so good? Well, there's actually a lot of stuff in Texas. Actually, it's just that it's such a big state. I think it has a lot to do with it. And also, I think Texas is like kind of like smarter about what they do. Because they know that the more they bring in, like more people, the more money they make. Yeah. So I think it just kind of like all depends. I think Texas would be a good place to live. Yeah, I would love to live in Texas. Be warm, which you would like, which you'd actually both like. Well, I kind of like the fall weather. So I think like northern Texas, where it's not too hot. Northern Texas, like which... Uh, States are not states, but like towns, yeah, cities. I don't know. Well, why don't you know if you want to live there? Well, I know that you want to live there. Yeah, because Rooster Teeth is down there. I know that it's nice down there. I don't know. That's. It'd be a cool experience. It's a ways off for us. Yeah. We'll think of something. 
We can make like a tiny Texas in our apartment. Well, in my apartment. Um. How about that? Maybe. I wonder if that would be possible, like trying to make something like seem like you're there, but you're not. I mean, some people do that by putting like beach items in their house, but. I feel like crazy people do that, though. Like, if you want to spend all the money on that stuff, why don't you just go do it? I don't know, maybe because they live close to family or something. Yeah, true. Uh, this stuff is so boring. I tried changing texture packs on uh, the server to see, like, which texture pack I would want to use. And Flows is definitely the best one I've found so far. I know some people aren't too happy with me using a texture pack. They would rather me use vanilla. But just van using vanilla to me now at this point, just it's really hard. It's just really ugly, mainly because of the glass. The glass is just it upsets me so much because it looks so crappy. Because you have all those like little squares in it, and you it kind of makes it hard to see through it. To where, and a lot of texture packs, that's why the glass is so clear because glass makes a big difference. I mean, like I said, some people are mad that I'm using texture packs. Well, blah, blah 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 blah. Like, well, nobody else is using them, which isn't true. Some other people are using them. But for the most part, I'm just going to use this texture pack. I don't think it's that big of a deal anyways. Just, it's a tiny thing that I'm not really going to fuss with people over. And I understand people like the vanilla because it's easier to tell, like, the blocks I'm using. But at the same time, I like my stuff to look good. So I kind of have to find, like, a happy balance of what do people like between versus like what do people want and a lot of people know what flows is like flows is the most popular from what i've seen texture pack so i figured why not use flows because so many people already knows what already knows already know what it is so if you already know what it is what's the big deal you know what i mean so trying to just trying to find that happy medium is something i've been trying to work on and hopefully we have enough oak wood here which i really hope we do Boop, 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 boop. And hopefully it actually looks good with the rest of everything in the house. Because I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, I think this would be good because just a nice little color change. So I think it will work out just fine. And maybe what we can even do is this actually might work even better. I just came up with an even new idea. Boop. Let me make sure I get underneath the chest. How about we kind of like change the color of things by having like a little pattern in here to make things a little bit different and give it a unique little shape. So instead of just having a plain floor, we'll change it up a little bit and add something different. So I'm not sure like, oh, I just completely got away with what I want to do. Ah, I have an X, might speed things up a little bit. All right, so we have our pattern laid out finally, and now we just need to figure out what kind of material do we want to place in the middle. I have a couple ideas such as like, maybe stone, but there's a new material that they added in 1.8, which when you find it in the like in the world, it doesn't look the greatest, but when you actually combine it to look like other blocks, I'm kind of thinking like this, kind of like stone slab look. It's kind of what it looks like at first glance. Like when I first saw it, I thought it was, uh, where is the stuff anyways? I'm not sure what I did with it. But to me, it kind of looks like if you can, if you place two stone slabs on top of each other, to me that's kind of what it looks like. So it's a nice little design, it's a nice simple touch, but I think it definitely gets the job done with its design aspects of things. And I don't know what I did with it, so I'm gonna have to go try to find it somewhere. Maybe it's down here by this chest? And I need to get to the nether soon. Ah, here it is. So we have uh, 25. That's definitely not going to be enough to fill everything. Huh. What could we use? It's actually a really good question, and I'm not really sure. Maybe... No, that wouldn't look too good. Huh. It's actually a really hard decision. Maybe stone. This try stone, I mean, we can always smelt more and get it back. But just for now, we'll probably add this. To kind of give it its... Kind of like a finished design, but it's like a temporary product for now, and we'll come back later and kind of like perfect it. Well, I wouldn't say perfect, but make it look a little bit better, because I don't think I could ever perfect anything. And there we go. I actually like this, because 
when you walk in, it has a different design from the rest of the house, but it works with the room, especially with the colors because the chests are oak wood. Uh, and then the floors are a mix of stone, basically, is basically all it is. So I think that's definitely good enough. Uh, so basically, all this episode, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this episode because it's basically just working on the house and, oh, I almost forgot about him. And kind of just like beautifying the place a little bit, which beautifying kind of sounds like a, not like a word guy would say too often, but I just did. So whatever. I said it. Get over it. Okay. And, oh, where should we start? Probably start here since this is the second floor. Actually, when you start up on the top floor, just thought about that. The top floor isn't finished with snow, which it definitely needs to be because it's going to irritate me. So, we're just going to make our snow here. Coming all the way over. And i got to figure out a design for this as well, if I want to make this into a bedroom. Because if this is going to be a bedroom, things are going to be a little bit different, obviously. So maybe the back door would turn out to be like a balcony, to make it look a little bit better. The bed would actually probably be here. I'd have to definitely make the bed look a little bit better than what it does now. Ah, so many little touches that I need to finally finish and just, just get them done so I can stop worrying about them. Because the bedroom's been one of my problems since the very first episode. So let's put these here now. So the bedroom we'll make right here. We'll make it a two. Let's have this come all the way across. And what do you guys think I should use for the roof or the ceilings? Because the ceilings, I have enough room for like slabs and stuff like that on basically all of my designs. So I'm trying to figure out what should I do with them? Uh, 41 things of snow, would this cover it? Maybe. I'm not sure if it's going to or not. I think it will, we're gonna be good. But yeah, I'm not sure what exactly I wanna do. Uh, put this, hmm. Probably get rid of this and put snow here. Just one small step at a time. And so we have six more. One, two, three, four, five. I heard a spider. Let's put this back. And this back here and let's sleep. Ah, Sleeping is something that actually sounds amazing in real life right now because I'm kind of tired. So we're, we're getting there with the house. We're just about done. And we're out of snow, so we might just forget about that. And maybe the next thing we'll do is work on a staircase that leads up to the house. Because that's one thing that I definitely need by some point. Just because of the fact that jumping all the way up to my house gets a little bit tiring after a while. And again, wastes a lot of food. So, I gotta figure out, again, a material I want to use for that. I don't want to use spruce. Spruce wood because I already, I've already used enough of that. I mean, maybe stone, but maybe cobblestone would actually, no. Huh. We'll use wood. We can always collect more wood. It's not that big of a resource. So, let's make as many stairs as possible. Bup, 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 bup. Bup. More stairs. And we should be good for now on all these. And right, we're good. Let's take some stone with us. Because basically we're going to need, let's see, we can put snow back. We're going to need our stairs, of course, and our stone. And we'll take one more stack of stone. Well, if I had another stack. And perfect. Okay. Uh, ooh, I can actually take some of my leftover snow and kind of fill this up with at least the left of the leftover snow I have. And probably by next part, I'll have the entire house covered in snow, just because I can go collect the snow from my little snow golem over there that I have trapped. I guess you could kind of call him like a—he's a buddy. I wouldn't call him a slave, but he's a buddy. 
He's a buddy of mine that I brought in under my wing and gave him a house, took him off the street, even though I made him. But anyway, still counts. And here we go. The fun of adding stairs. Oh, I messed up. Well, that kind of sucks. I just have to go through and redo all this. Here we go. Get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of this. And we, it looks like we're actually good from there on out. And maybe we'll add like a stone path, like stone walls next to the stairs. And boop, boop, boop. Ah, no. There we go. And finally coming down. Ah, God, God damn it. I keep falling. Huh. Nope. Ah. Ah. I hate messing up, which I do a lot of, but. And there we go. Just a couple more to go. And I definitely made a lot more stairs than what I had to. If I'm looking at it now. Hey, Jax. My cat Jax is finally woken up from his little nap. Which he. Jax, move your head. Well, Jax, no. What are you doing? <sighs> really? You're a stubborn cat. Okay. And. There we go. I think we're set on the stairs now. Just add a couple more. And voila, we finally have stairs leading up to our house. Let's take our stone and add a tiny little wall going up above the stairs. This nice simple thing. I'm not sure if I want to add cobblestone walls. I mean, maybe cobblestone walls look pretty good here now. But maybe I should add uh, fences. I'm not sure what would look better. A fence might look better because it would kind of continue with the theme of this going all the way down. Where cobblestone walls would kind of look out of place. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. Story of my life. All right, and let's do the same thing on this side now. I think we're gonna go with fences. Fences will probably just match with the house a little bit better. Uh, oh, here we go. Just keep stacking up. And should we just keep going up? Yeah, we'll keep going up. Okay, got that cleared out. Probably need to get rid of some of this as well. My inventory is completely full. What did I just pick up? No, I don't want a piece of dirt. Out of all the materials, I would not want dirt. Okay. So like we actually have a lot of wood left over now, so we could easily make all those fences with all the spruce wood we have now. Yeah, this actually might work out nicely if we do it correctly. Now, I'm not sure if this would be actually be a good thing for monsters though, because monsters can now climb up to my house a little bit easier. But at the same time, I can get into my house a lot easier and faster. And can zombies get through gates like this? I'm not sure, because I know they can break through wooden doors, but I'm not sure about the actual fence gates themselves. So you guys should let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. I think that's good. Maybe make it one higher. So maybe make it like this. But then if we do that, that's not gonna be the same. Maybe make it one higher on this side. Since there's not as, oh, wrong material. Since there's not as much of a need for a railing on this side. Let's see how this looks. And then we'll go make our fences. Oh, wrong one. Oh my god, this is so much faster already. 
let's get rid of that. Hmm. Maybe off camera I might do some mining of this and get this somewhat leveled out, especially like some of the grass down there. I just gonna make some fences. Fences will kind of fix all of this. So you guys know what that means. A lot of fences will have to be made. And it's becoming nighttime. Fantastic. Ooh. Uh. How'd you get into my house, zombie? So something's too dark. I need to figure out what that is pretty immediately so I don't have things spawning in my house and killing me like that. Hmm. That was very interesting, having a spider there. Okay. I'm not sure how the spider even got there. What's too... Wow, a lot of stuff has spawned in my house, apparently. Not good. Maybe the the chest room? Where'd he go? Alright, let's get ready to fight. And... Pachow! Ow. Where are they coming from? My house looks lit up, so I'm not sure where they would be coming from. Huh. I definitely need to figure that out pretty fast here. And let's go sleep in our bed. So we can get rid of all these horrible monsters. Come on, nighttime, let's go. There we go. Yeah, I think this will actually be a pretty good spot for the bedroom here. How much time are we at? We're at... Wow, we're already all at 40 minutes. I need to herp and finish this up. Let's do some final touches with those fences, and then I think we'll be set to go. To cobblestone. I think for right now, I'm just going to put everything in a chest and then come back and organize it later. Since I do have so much basic crap in my inventory at this point. So let's get rid of all this. And all we need are sticks. So. Let's make sticks. Sticks are just like this. Here we go. So we have plenty of sticks. And then we need our wood which wow we have a lot more spruce wood than I thought we would need like, I thought we would run out of spruce wood with how much we had left over well how do you make a fence again I think it's like this and then I completely forgot how to make a fence is it like this this is a ladder I believe I can't believe I forgot how to make a fence. That was actually something I always knew how to make. No. No. Huh. Oh, actually, I think I'm doing it the wrong way. I think... Don't you do this? Something like along these lines, and then put... No. Ah, I figured it out. So we have 30 there. Let's add these in there. Okay, now we're good. 63 fences should be enough to get that going all the way down to the surface. And then, I, oh, complete accident there. After we get done doing this, we'll play Call It Apart. Since we've basically done a little bit, I mean, we've replaced the floor, we've replaced some of the walls. We've added this now, which is something I'm pretty happy about. Now we just have to, hopefully we have enough. I think we should, but it just depends. So we're just going all the way down with this. Boop, 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 boop. And almost down. And we should definitely have enough since we're at 25 left over already. When did that tree get there? I don't remember that having that tree. And we're finished. Perfect. There we go. So now we have everything set up exactly the way we want it. 
So I think we're set. So we'll probably call it for this part, like I said. So thank you for watching, guys. Please rate and subscribe. I'll talk to all you guys later. And again, thank you for watching. If you haven't seen any of the other parts of Chaos Craft, go check those out to see how far we've gone all the way up to this part and see how everything was constructed and built from the ground up. I guess since the Nautum was here, it wasn't from the ground up, but you get the idea. So bye, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to all you guys later. Bye-bye.